Hey everyone, today I'll be talking about the Oninaki demo that was recently released on the PS4, Nintendo Switch, and Steam. Oninaki is developed by Tokyo RPG Factory, the makers of I Am Setsuna, and Lost Sphere. And while I like both those games, they really felt like watered-down experiences from the games they were inspired by. They were like comfort food for me. They were supposed to emulate the JRPGs from the 90s, but they really didn't provide anything new or special. I Am Setsuna had Chrono Trigger's battle system with Final Fantasy X's story. On paper, that would sound great, but the execution resulted in a weak experience. The same can be said for Lost Spear. It had Chrono Trigger and Xenogears' battle system with the story of Final Fantasy IX and Xenoblade Chronicles. The result was a mediocre game, unfortunately. But Tokyo RPG Factory seems to have rebounded with Onunaki in a big way. So let's talk about it. The story starts off with the protagonist, a young Kagachi, at his mother's bedside as she dies with his friend Mayura and her father telling him not to be sad as she passes. She'll be reborn. Fast forward to the present and we see Kagachi has become a watcher like Mayuri's father, as has she. They are partners being led by her father to rescue lost souls. If the lost souls are not rescued and guided by the watchers, they will not be reincarnated and will turn into monsters. This sets up the lore for the game. It's all about death and rebirth. The first story mission has Kagachi rescuing a small child who has passed on. The Watchers have the ability to traverse to the Beyond Realm where the lost souls reside. He takes the boy back to his parents to see if his parents are the ones keeping his soul lost and unable to be reborn. Sure enough, the mother buckles under Kagachi's questioning and reveals that she is filled with sorrow, wanting her son back. In this world, that is what keeps the lost souls from reincarnating and turning them into monsters. If one harbors such sadness for the deceased, then the deceased will not be able to move on and be reborn. The parents cannot handle their son's death, so they ask Kagachi to release them from this mortal world and request to join their son and die. He takes out his katana and kills them and the title screen appears. This is an incredible opening with an amazing hook, something Lost Sphere and I Am Setsuna didn't have. The storytelling is vastly different from Tokyo RPG Factory's past games. There are actual cutscenes, all voiced in Japanese, which adds a lot more immersion. They seem to have finally figured out how to come up with a great hook and execute the storytelling. This demo was emotionally gripping and had me wanting to experience the world and the characters unlike their previous games. Something resonated with me playing this demo. What's really special is that there were two thought-provoking and emotionally complex scenarios that kept the story moving forward in an emotional way. That's what separates this game from the prior games by Tokyo RPG Factory. The gameplay in this game has shifted from traditional turn-based battles to an action RPG system. As much as I love turn-based JRPGs, this is a welcome change and it fits with this game. I always felt Tokyo RPG Factory really had done battle systems well and have slowly added their own spin on battle systems they are inspired from. With this game, the player has a companion known as a demon who are lost souls themselves. These demons drift around you and act like a Pokemon or a Persona if you've played those games and allow you to use special abilities. Each demon lets you equip one weapon and has their own combat skills. For example, the first demon you start out with is named Aisha. 
She enables you to wield a sword and has fast-paced abilities for combat. The second demon you come in contact with in the demo and acquire is named Zav, and he allows you to equip a lance and has slower-based abilities. Think Dragoon from Final Fantasy. You can switch between demons quickly and achieve some really cool combos. Going back to the storytelling for a minute, the demons have their own stories. You can unlock demons' memories while you upgrade the demons' skills. This is a really cool mechanic because each demon has a unique story, and if you choose to unlock their stories, you bond with them and become closer. You both grow stronger together. The only negative I have on the game so far is that it's really easy. This could be because this is only the first hour of the game, and when it's released, it will have better balancing. But so far, it doesn't seem to be balanced well. The game is also priced way too high yet again, but I believe this is a Square Enix issue. This should not be a $50 game. That is what killed Lost Fear and I Am Setsuna. They should not have been priced at this level. But right now, I don't care, because the story hooked me. A game by Tokyo RPG Factory finally has me hooked. I had a super positive experience with this demo, and I hope the finished game will be as emotionally resonant as the demo was. お前は何なんだ私はある存在を封じてきたそれは今私を探し出し消し去ろうとしている憎しみを解放するために If you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Thanks for watching.